Katie Watson reporting there. Now, every year, nearly three million young people enter the Arab labour market. But finding enough jobs for them all is a problem that governments here are largely failing to tackle. Yet unemployment was one of the key reasons for the uprising across the Arab world. So are governments here doing enough? That's a question I put to Tariq Youssef, the chief executive of Silatech, a social enterprise founded by the Emir of Qatar's wife, Sheikha Moza, with the aim of providing large-scale development programs to the region's young people. Clearly, whatever governments have been doing is not working. If so, uh, then at this particular moment of change, of transition, uh, new thinking is going to be required. So what's your one big idea then to, to solve this problem? Ideas experiments, programs, and policy reforms. Uh, what can we do that we haven't done before, either by doing it differently or by improving on what we did before? Now, money's not a problem because parts of this region are incredibly wealthy. What's going wrong? What are we doing wrong? A lot of countries where youth unemployment has been persistently high we do not have the resources a problem of this magnitude that requires governments, corporate leaders, CSOs, NGOs, regional institutions and international donors to work cooperatively uh, to solve. And I think when you do that, when you view it from such a prism, suddenly the resource constraint becomes less of an issue. So it sounds like you think that governments are actually part of the problem then? Absolutely. Governments have been part of the problem for over uh, two decades now. Uh, and I think not only were they part of the problem, they did not allow anyone else to step in and perhaps try to provide an alternative. We've seen unprecedented political unrest across the Arab world over the past 18 months or so. H has this unrest helped or, or hindered your cause? But what has changed on account of these protests in these countries? Uh, there is a new policy framework. Uh, a policy framework that demands accountability, calls for transparency. If you happen to believe that economic reform does require a conducive political space that is transparent and accountable and maybe even democratic, then the, uh, the events of the Arab Spring with time will give rise to precisely the sort of ecosystem that would allow you to tackle these problems.